What is going on everybody? My name is Earl here. What I have here is a 2009 MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now this is very interesting because as you can see, it's running Big Sur. One of the recent Mac OS versions. Right now we have Sonoma, but this is Big Sur. In my opinion, one of the best versions for the 2009 MacBook here. And it's plenty quick. Even with the measly four gigabytes of RAM, this still can really do a lot of stuff. Not a lot of intensive apps, but I'm very surprised of how well this is still caught up even today with a little bit of a helper called Open Patch Legacy. Now, if you guys don't know what Open Patch Legacy is, it essentially makes these old computers from 2009 or even all the way back to 2007, essentially makes it run to the latest version. Not the fastest or not Apple certified or supported, but the fact that you could run a much recent version aside from, let's say, El Capitan, which was, I believe, one of the last versions for 2009 model year Apple officially supports. So it's such a big gap because that means you can run much more recent apps and what makes it interesting or crazy is the fact that this is very smooth obviously you can see some you know frame drops here and there but to top things off i believe this macbook specifically is one of the higher end 15 inch models so it has a 2.8 gigahertz intel core 2 duo this was the last year where they were running core 2 duo in 2010 they switched to the i5 and the i7 dual cores i believe this is the second to highest trim model this has actually a pretty decent cycle count it has about 450 cycle counts give or take and the battery is perfectly fine now graphics this is running a GeForce 9600M GT and that has 512 megabytes of GDDR3 RAM. I want to show you guys how this is perfectly usable in 2024. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here. So just give me like a couple of that keyboard and trackpad even in 2024. Still one of the best. Right on the top we can definitely just casually just browse the web because of how usable this is with the open patch legacy you can see here if it loads up it loads perfectly fine and let me go ahead and lower the volume down over here look italy 4k let's go ahead and see what that looks like it's about three hours long look at that it's, it's a little laggy but you know it is what it is <laughs> You're talking about like a 14 or 15 year old computer here. Speaker's good. We're gonna go ahead and skip this ad, see what this actually looks like. Let's go ahead and switch it up to. Oh, it's running 480p right now. Let's go ahead and put it up to 1080p, see what that looks like. I feel like that's pretty easy for this graphics. I don't really see this graphics really getting held back. Maybe 4K, but for some reason I can't put it a full screen. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's running 1080p with ease. And I can just switch. A little bit of frame drop here and there, but that's not really, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. I think my internet right now is quite slow, but it just runs perfectly fine, man. Let's go to run every Mac and see the specs of this computer. Now, this isn't really running the fastest internet, so I think that has to do with my internet rather than the computer itself. For us some RAM. And you know what's crazy about this is that this has the actual, yeah, this was one of the first model years for the MacBook Pros with a 120 gigabyte SSD. And this is running actual Apple SSD. And it's so fascinating to see that. Apple SSD TS128C. An actual Apple SSD running on this 2009 MacBook. So this is a really well spec model, honestly. So we're gonna go ahead and do some web browsing here. Maybe go to ABC News. What's that? You know, it's just really nice to see this being usable in that gorgeous display. You can scroll down, scroll up, scroll down. And there's really not that much hiccups. In conclusion, I think these MacBooks from 2009, first of all, they're reliable actually. They are surprisingly reliable. The year after this, the 2010 have power capacitor issues under graphics. Not necessarily the graphics itself, but they have issues with the capacitor going bad. 2011 is very infamous for the graphics cards. I really do not have any issues with this at all. I just find this very fascinating. Every time I go to the Apple website, how they have the Vision Pro now, and I'm looking at it from a 14-year-old MacBook Pro, or a 15-year-old by now. This MacBook Pro would have been in high school by now. Let's go ahead and click buy. 
you can buy an iPhone 15 Pro Max on this 15 year old MacBook. I like white titanium. I've always liked those. You can buy a one terabyte iPhone nowadays. That's 10 times the amount of this whole MacBook here itself. But the good news is that you can expand that one terabyte SSD now that SSDs have gone down in value. If it's doable, you could really use this. You know, a lot of the times everything is on the web and you could essentially turn this into a Chromebook, an Apple Chromebook. Essentially, I guess that's the best way to describe these older MacBooks is that they are essentially Apple Chromebooks. And most of the time you use everything on the web. I just love how I could run these older MacBooks with ease without worrying about anything reliability wise. This 2009 specific MacBook have always been tried and true. Even the 13 inch model, I've never had any issues. They're not the fastest thing in the world, but they're the perfect companion if you really are not looking for anything more than having a big display. I mean, these are great entertainment devices in 2024. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly, I, I love using these older computers. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.